Hi, Carolyn Foster. Here's what happened on Carolyn Talks um, podcast. Um, thank you so much for making this film. This is such a poignant and very important film. And this is a question for everyone on the panel. I'm going a bit from the question you just answered about mental health and about the cast and the crew. I Can you tell me about any discussions that any of you had with each other and as well with the um, extras on the film about not only Mamie's story and Emmett, but how this story of Emmett Till led to not only the what was one of the most, um, I guess you could say, effective events that ha- that led to the civil rights movement, which to me has never really ended because Black people in North America, especially in America, are still fighting for their civil rights and they're still fighting to be seen and as human beings, like fully, e- fully evolved and fully realized human beings. And one of the scenes that really hit home for me, how um, films like Till as well as other films in setting the civil rights era and even in slavery is how every black person in North America, every black person in America can relate to Mamie's story and Emmett's story on some emotional level because all black people are are, um, affected by racism and anti-blackness and the violence that comes with that. So can you talk about uh, the scenes with the extras and how you dealt with that personally and as well as a family and a group because the scene at the church with the extras I just had the thought that so many of those people there would have been alive during this moment. They would have been alive because some of them were older, um, older black people. So it could have it couldn't have been easy to just go through that experience on a film set and just reliving moments that everyone would have been had unfortunately experienced, such as having the talk. Because what happened to Emmett has what launched the whole idea of having the talk with black boys. Well, that day that we shot that scene um i believe um miss deborah watts was there she right mm-hmm. okay yeah and who is a cousin who's a uh, cousin to mamie um and so and i believe correct me if i'm wrong i believe she spoke and shared shared a few words um with mm-hmm. everyone um um when we were shooting and i and i and the experience of that was palpable you know and and for everyone, all the extras, the cast, the crew to hear from a family member. And um, I think that that was a really galvanizing experience. It really kind of reminded us of, you know, purpose and, and intention. And um, it was, I mean, for me, it was, it, it was soul enriching. Um, you know, when we shot the Harlem rally scene, um, there was definitely a moment where I, I, you know, had to I gave I gave a little rousing speech to remind people of of what this is about and how we you know it was most I believe it was mostly black extras and just like reminding us that our joy is a form of resistance this film is a form of resistance and that we're all part of a legacy or um that is being represented in this film and so just reminding people of purpose and and energizing people and and I, I think that I felt a community amongst the amongst the extras and 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 a, a community that was really rooted in purpose you know I felt like people who did this really wanted to do this and really felt the power and importance of of doing it for me when well when there are times I will be alone at the producer's booth and cast members as well as crew will walk over to me and tell me why they took on this project. And that was the quite quite moving moments for me throughout this whole process was that we actually had like-minded people who understood the pr- production of what we wanted to produce for the world. They understood the importance of telling this story. And so Everyone that's involved, and, and, and you could you just reach out to some of these people, they would tell you why they took on this project. And that's, you know, that experience for me was great and overwhelming at the same time because I had like-minded people working on this production. It wasn't just a job for them. You know, everyone put their heart and soul to tell this story, and that really came through at the end of the day. And so, you know, that was a wonderful experience for me because, you know, I'm a little biased. This has been part of my world for a very long time, this story, you know, since I was 10 years old. And now finally being able to tell a historic story and become a part of this history in a way, because we've all are part of, we're all a part of history now for making this film. 
is truly amazing. I mean, I don't, you know, people don't really think about that. So we were all touched and we have, we all, all the people that I spoke with had their own personal reason why they joined this project in particular. 